After the viral clip of an Algerian imam keeping his cool following an encounter with a cot, a pastor tried his own. Did he succeed? And was it natural and seamless? Before I answer those questions with the accompanying video, let's see this. <laughs> Yeah, everybody saw this video. It actually went viral all over the world. The Algerian government has even acknowledged the Imam's expression of Islamic sympathy. He was bestowed with a certificate of recognition. The mainstream Western media was forced to show it to their audiences, who, in my estimation, are mostly non Muslim. For instance, this is CNN. This is BBC. This is NBC News. This is Global News. This is Al Jazeera. What is peculiar about all mainstream media outlets is their collective culpability in sharing false images of Islam to the world. For the first time, people saw the true color of Islam as a pretty humble, peaceful, and sympathetic religion. I am not saying this because I'm a Muslim, but because different religious leaders have been spotted with cards over the years. Now, for example, these are pictures of the Pope and other religious leaders with cards. Is there a difference? Yes. This video is more organic and natural. Ultimately, people didn't expect this sort of video. This is not the first time an imam has done this. Have people forgotten for crying out loud that Moff to Meg had a viral video where he was tending his cart? However, the unique thing about this new viral clip is that the cart came at a time when the prayers were on. That's when the prayer was going on. What told him to jump on the Imam? How did it even come to kiss and try to get close to the Imam's face? What was behind all this? I can only prefer you know, spiritual answers to these questions. This is because it happened during prayers. If you watch closely, you will realize that the Imam was actually reciting the bit of words of the Quran. The Quran is a book that contains the admonition of Allah, the one and only God with no partners. These words are living and are powerful. They came from God and would naturally attract any creature to listen. It refreshes the soul and mesmerizes the intellect. These are the words of Allah. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to a very short episode today. Please like and share to enable others to see this firsthand analysis about the viral video of the Algerian Imam. Subscribe to help us grow better. I had previously talked about the spiritual trigger from Allah which made the cart jump on the Imam in the mosque while praying. But I would like it if you carefully observe that from the very moment the cart started to hear the recitation, it became restless. Just take a look at this. It was moving about looking for ways to jump and maybe understand where the beautiful so catching sound was apparently coming from. However, the same simple observation cannot be made of this pastor who attempted to go viral. It's obvious 
that the bed may have been brought to the table. There are no signs it flew independently to the altar, much like the cart. It is obvious that the pastor's video was actually staged. Well, I have a bunch of things to unpack in the Imam and the cart episode because it was spontaneous. I do not think the cart would attempt to jump on the Imam if it is not. In fact, just watch closely, you would notice that it jumped and had family on the Imam's clothes. Finding balance, he proceeded to the top of the Imam's shoulders and attempted to kiss or trace the origin of those beautiful words of Allah. Interestingly, why the spirit of prayer and focus involved the Imam and the cart when it eventually succeeded some folks behind were actually distracted take a look at this man and this man this man particularly looked up and was surprised again how did the cart notice that the Imam was about to finish the recitation and peacefully jumped down to allow him to bow well only Allah can explain what really happened. Let's see what Mufti Meng said about the event. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats and people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration, which means these animals. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has a liver, every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner, but we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds, and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. Ladies and gentlemen, let, let me ride there. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.